Joining us on the phone is Stephen Dennis, White House correspondent with Roll Call. So, Stephen Dennis, what's on tap for Ron Klain's first day on the job? Well, he will. We will get to see him. There will be at least uh, some pictures taken uh, with the president this afternoon and uh, senior members of the president's team. They're gonna, there's going to be a three o'clock meeting in the Oval Office uh, where uh, presumably we'll get a little bit of better sense of what exactly Ron Klain's going to be doing. Uh, it's something that the White House has had a little bit of a difficult time understanding, you know, sort of explaining exactly what uh, Ron Klain's powers will be. Uh, he's sort of being uh, talked about as an implementer of the government strategy, as somebody who's coordinating the various agencies. But as far as what his actual powers are, what he can order or not order, um, and you know, even basics like how much he's going to be paid and how long he's going to stick around are things that are all up in the air at this point. Will he be the face of the Ebola response? It looks like that's sort of a TBD to be determined. Um, you know, the other day, uh, Josh Ernest, the press secretary, was asked about it um, and would not commit to him being on camera to uh, answer questions, to talk about his role, et cetera, that he would have more of a behind-the-scenes role, um, you know, doing this coordination. I think there is a, a nervousness, um, or at least it comes across as nervousness, by the White House that uh, given that Ron Klain does not have a, an extensive medical background, he's more of a, a top-notch uh, Washington lawyer, the kind of person who in the past has vetted Supreme Court justices and been a chief of staff for vice presidents, uh, that he could be tripped up by a, a question about uh, the, the medical part of this crisis. So, uh, the, you know, they're not sending him up to Capitol Hill for uh, a hearing on Wednesday that uh, Chairman Daryl Issa of the House uh, Oversight and Government Reform Committee is going to have. On Friday? Yes, I believe that's on Friday. So that, you know, they're, they are going to be, I think, pretty careful, at least early on, uh, making sure he's brought up to speed and, and doesn't trip things up. Because, you know, this is in, in some ways uh, an important PR move for the White House. Uh, I think they resisted the idea of having an Ebola czar for, for many months, really. Um, and now that they have one, they don't want to have uh, some kind of a PR nightmare if he were to go before the press and, and answer a question wrong before he's brought up to speed. Stephen Dennis, who does he report to? Chief of Staff or the President himself? Uh, he reports to Lisa Monaco, who's the Homeland Security Advisor, and Susan Rice, who's the National Security Advisor. So there, he doesn't report directly to the President, but, you know, it's a pretty small set of offices over there in the West Wing. I'm pretty sure he would be able to get the President's ear if he felt he needed it. Um, the other question, of course, is, uh, you know, people wonder how long is he going to be in this job? And uh, the administration has said that uh, maybe it might be five or six months. Their idea is that this crisis will be over by then. And then the question is, well, what does Ron Klain do then? Does he return to the private sector? Um, I think there's a decent chance that he ends up in the administration somewhere else. He's been a guy who's been rumored for every job from chief of staff on down um, as somebody with a, a huge resume. And this could, in some ways, be a tryout for any number of jobs down the road. Yeah, so this possibility of him becoming chief of staff has been put out there. You have a story on Roll Call's website that the White House touts Ebola czar, Ron Klain's ties to Congress. Would that help in any future post as well? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the, the things that the White House has had a hard time uh, with this Ebola crisis is they have a bunch of nervous Democrats on Capitol Hill who are running for re-election and who have been considering the White House, or not, and not just the White House, but the, the response of the CDC director and others uh, uh, to be a little bit tone deaf and hurting them politically. And uh, Ron Klain is the kind of person who at least knows Senate Democrats very well. He's worked uh, uh, for Senate Democrats in the past. He has good relationships over there. Uh, he's somebody who theoretically could tap into their concerns, react to them quickly, um, and be uh, more of a, 
uh, somebody who's a little bit more in tune with what Congress is uh, hearing and wanting. Um, and that could that could be helpful down the line if he's ever appointed to something that needs confirmation or trying to push the president's agenda down the line. I mean, uh, in the past, he's, he's worked to get Supreme Court justices confirmed, et cetera. So uh, that could be the kind of role that he's tapped for again. Okay. All right. Stephen Dennis, White House correspondent with Roll Call. Thank you. Absolutely.